hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Sharon and please consider subscribing for more amazing content okay so in today's video I'll be doing a empty apartment tour like I'm recently moved out of my former apartment because I had grew this place so I was in a studio apartment before and I decided that I wanted to move out to a bigger space where I would have you know enough space to do all of the things that I want to do so initially the type of house that I had in mind to rent was a one bedroom apartment because the houses around this area tend to be very expensive because the house owners tend to like you know increase the prices of their houses because this is a student's environment and they know that students have the money to pay for any apartment just to like secure his space around school especially for those who couldn't secure a space in the school hostel or they can't cope with living with people in the room and you know those are big boys that they will tell that a house is this price and they will just pay so they are making things very difficult for really small people who don't have the money to pay i'm not a student but i guess the rule applies to everybody who wants to like get an apartment around this area so yeah, I've been on this front for like two months. Ah, God, it was really, it has been really stressful, honestly. Like, you can see how crazy I'm looking. I don't know if, it's, if you can see that on camera, but actually, it's really, really stressed before. It really stressed the hell out of me. So the reason the hunt took so long was because there were some factors that I had in mind that if I'm going to be renting the place, it has to meet these factors. The first one was space. Like, I was very, very particular about the space. Because I need so much space. I don't know. Yeah, I need space. And then power supply. If you are in Nigeria and you are a content creator, you should know why power supply is very important. So yeah, some other factors like you know people living in the house and you know other things, accessibility to the road. I don't like stress, so I don't want stress. I want it to be like very easy for me to get to the road. The previous houses I've been seeing, the ones that agents have been taking me to, then just meet up with these things and I was just taking my time. I was taking my time because I didn't want to rent the things that after some time I'll just you know get tired of this and I would want to like move out again so I started moving around and the hunt was so stressful but luckily I found the place and I'm really really excited about it I'd say it was luck because this wasn't even the place that I planned to pay for initially so I'll just like cut the long story short okay the place I initially wanted to pay for you know an agent took me there and after the agent left I decided to like go back to you know ask around to know how the house is what kind of people live in there if they are troublesome they are peaceful or whatever and i think this is very important especially if you're someone like me who doesn't like trouble like you know people like also don't like trouble but if you like trouble you might not bother because you know people who like trouble want trouble you know people who like trouble don't like living in a peaceful environment because they want to fight or they want to argue or quarrel all the time so i'm not like that so i had to like go back because i know what i saw in the previous apartment that i lived in so even when you're peaceful there are some kind of people that will just want to just you know bring trouble to you for no reason so it's very important that you tend to ask around like ask the neighbors they might not know everything about the house or those living in the house but they can tell you, you know, one or two things that, you know, will be very important and will be very helpful. So that was what I did. I went back to, like, make the inquiries and I missed my way. I couldn't remember the exact road we took. So while I was trying to find the place, I met the house owner of this particular house that I paid for. And luckily, it was a two-bedroom apartment and it was way below my budget oh my god like i was so so happy because the place i wanted to pay for was a one bedroom apartment and it was way expensive than you know this one that is a two bedroom apartment and i paid a cheaper amount for it so i was actually very happy i didn't even waste time and i just like paid for the place i used to be showing you guys what the place looks like so guys let's head right to go and see my new apartment
So I know this is a clear case of what I expected to see versus what I'm seeing now, okay? Well, this is what actually met with the factors that I consider the space, the power supply and accessibility to the road. Other houses I saw were either too expensive or they were not accessible to the road or they are not complete and the time frame for completion was very far and I was in a haste to like move out of my former apartment. So yeah, I know I have a lot to do, like a place is not looking its best. I have a lot of things to do and I have some things that I'm already planning I'm going to do, you know, a little bit of transformation and I hope that the house is going to be appealing to the eyes afterwards. So I'm going to take you guys along, you know, take you guys through the whole process. So this is the sitting room but I don't plan on using it for the purpose that it was made for. I'm planning to use this as my showroom for my businesses because I do majority of my businesses online and like about 90% of my clients are from you know online so I'm just planning to work from home like do everything at home. So moving on So that's the bathroom obviously and it's looking really messed up but I haven't cleaned the place okay so I just decided to like do this video before I start cleaning and then I'll call the painter to repaint the whole place. So this is the first bedroom. I don't know if this was supposed to be like the uh, master's bedroom but I'm thinking that I would use this place as my filming room because I initially wanted to like share my bedroom like use my bedroom for both my personal stuff and also for my filming room but since I have like an extra space now like I have a separate room I'll be using this place as my filming room so I would have used this place as my personal bedroom but this is, um, the room is kind of small and I need a lot of space for my personal stuff so I think this space is just perfect for my filming room So this is the other bedroom and this is the place I'll be using for my personal stuff. <laughs> okay, like this is the place that I actually use that I would actually prefer as my filming room because it has a lot of natural lighting coming inside. And for times where I want to do quick videos and there's no power supply because you know how Nigeria is, I would have loved this place, you know, to film quick videos with natural light. But this room is bigger than the other one, that's why I want to use the other one as my filming room. So uh, this is the kitchen. I was already um, about to start cleaning, but I just decided to like film the video first before I cleaned the place. That's all there is to show you around this apartment. It's looking crazy, honestly. I've been living here for quite some time now because I've been actually like taking my time with the whole process and business has been really busy this period though I'm not complaining <laughs> that's what we pray for so the first thing that I actually want to do is to repaint the place okay and I already called the painter so I'll just basically take you guys through the process so guys I chose to use white color like to like paint the whole place white because i'm also planning to you know have a studio in the house and you know white just complements everything it makes the whole place fine and for the kind of design or the kind of setup that i'm planning to do 
I think white is like just the perfect color for everything. That's why I chose to use white color. Hello. Oh, we can see that this is so bright. I see. I yeah, see how bright it looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice, I know. So guys, this is the final result and trust me, the painter did an amazing job at concealing the holes and the you know all the imperfection on the wall and i was really 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 amazed i don't know if this video is even doing justice to this thing but trust me like the end result was perfect and i was really amazed at the outcome so if you're in benin and you need these services you can hit me up on any of my social media platform and i'm going to give you his contact okay So this is just me the next day trying to put the place in order and you know clean up everywhere.
okay so that's all for the painting process okay so mind you i did not record this intro and outro before the whole painting so i called him some days back and i decided to like do this intro after because as at the time he came i was really busy and i could not do the intro before he started the whole stuff but yeah so i'm thinking that the next thing i want to do is to go see my furniture maker and also make frames for the wall but the frames are going to be diy okay i'm going to make them myself from cardboard <laughs> i'm going to make them myself from cardboard because i want something easy just want something really affordable and simple and i've been actually watching a lot of tutorials on youtube and i'm going to try them out okay if they come out well fine if they don't i probably would have to go and get the actual frames so i'm going to also take you guys through that process probably not today but definitely okay 